Uganda Tourism Board has revealed that while the COVID-19 pandemic has slumped tourism business, government has delayed to intervene with effective financing strategies to sustain the sector. You know, if you have a budget uh, of 25 billion, it's sliced down to 17 billion, then further sliced down to 9 billion for an entire institution. That is a cut of over, what, you know, 70%, 80%, and you expect it to work with that. Of course, we understand that, yes, we're in a COVID time. There's been rationalization of, of funds across board, but still we expect it to deliver. The State Minister for Tourism, Honorable Martin Mugara, met Uganda Tourism Board and other stakeholders to share thoughts on how they can empower Uganda's tourism sector to stay afloat amidst the pandemic's effects. So, but, but I believe that uh, definitely, especially from my generation, that marketing is the only thing that is going to help us grow this sector. And some money for, for, for Ugandans equally uh, get some employment for our brothers uh, and sisters. So I think as a team, let's work together. Let's come up with all. I'm new to the ministry. I'm just going to rely on what you guys uh, come up with. And for us, we shall look for the money. Like I'll say time and again. The problem is not so much with uh, UTB or the organizations which are making budget proposals and submissions. The challenge is with those who are controlling the national pass. Now, the cure for that one is to be in a position to look at each sector and undertake a cost-benefit analysis on whatever is being proposed. In spite of the gaps, Honorable Mugara maintains that as more financing is solicited, more can still be done should competitiveness be portrayed in other ways. Others may say, okay, let's uh, localize by Uganda, build Uganda, but sometimes you miss the other aspects of bringing internationalization because some of this we have to do to have to open up. The private sector came in, set up associations, and now we are working with the associations to make sure that um, the registration and the licensing of all the tourism operators is done you know, the way that it should be. Most of the hotels have been closed almost now for a year and a half. And they are not going to, to revive until about 2025. And yet you have to meet utilities, that is umema and water, whether you are closed or you are not. You have to pay taxes. Uganda Tourism Board's mandate is to promote and popularize Uganda as a viable holiday destination both locally and internationally, in order to increase the contribution of tourism earnings and GDP, and also to increase Uganda's share of Africa's and the world tourism market. Wadulo Mark Arnold, UBC News, in Kampala.